today, we may want to watch out for these GPUs. NVIDIA is releasing new cards every year. Intel and AMD need to be worried, and NVIDIA is bringing the D with their brand new flagship GPU. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, you recently saw the story I covered where 4090 GPUs were being disassembled so they could add a blower shroud to turn them into AI GPUs. Well, now it looks like miners are getting involved, and it could be bad for everyone. According to a news story from Video Cards, companies are now repurposing old mining GPUs to try and make some money, and it looks to be working. Believe it or not, they're taking RTX 3080s and RX 580s or possibly 570s, but I'll get to that in a second, and they're adding more memory to them to sell. As you can see, some 3080s were found in a warehouse that now have blowers on them, as well as 20 gigabytes of memory. Not only that, but some RX 580s are being sold with 16 gigabytes of memory on AliExpress. Though while you see it says RX 580, it only comes with 2048 cores, which would actually be a 570. 70 because the 580 is supposed to come with 2304 cores so this looks like a scam all the way around now it does look like some of these come with warranties so it's likely not a terrible idea to get one but keep in mind that last time they tried this these were going for 600 bucks while now they're at over 900 oh no 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 and just know that they were likely mining cards though of course because they're being made into blower cards they're more targeting ai companies but just keep this in mind if you see some online. But first, the ultimate place for PC hardware lovers might be coming to a town near you. They just opened their Indianapolis store and they're already working on North Carolina. I'm of course talking about this video sponsor, Micro Center, the one place you can actually go to buy all your hardware for a PC build. And they have some of the best prices in the industry. It's basically paradise for PC enthusiasts, which is why I actually drove hours to build my first ever PC at Micro Center. It really is that awesome. Besides the fact that they have a ton of hardware from motherboards, CPUs, GPUs, and more, they also have really knowledgeable staff that can help you with any questions you could have for your build. And they don't just have PC parts. They also have a really impressive maker section, and for a limited time, new customers can now get the Creality Ender 3 S1 3D printer for just 149 bucks. So with Micro Center, you can build more than just a PC. To pick up yours, check out the link in the description below. Next up for today, we just got word on what NVIDIA is planning to call their next generation hardware after Blackwell. As you can see on the current roadmap from NVIDIA, they show the B100, which we know is Blackwell. But after that, it's shown as the X100. Well, according to the known leaker Copite 7 Kimi, this X is actually an R. And it's for Vera Rubin, an American astronomer who made some great discoveries in galaxy rotation rates that even provided evidence for the existence of dark matter. So she's definitely done some great things for science. According to Copi7 Kimi, NVIDIA is currently developing the R100 and GR200 GPUs made for the data center, and given these would take the place of the X and GX100 GPUs shown on NVIDIA's roadmap, we can expect them sometime in 2025. What's really wild about this roadmap is that it also shows us that NVIDIA is now planning to release new AI GPUs every year instead of every other year, and that could mean they plan to do the same thing for their gaming GPUs. Let's just say, if that's true, AMD had better speed things up. Next up, Intel and AMD should seriously start worrying about the new competition that's cropping up. For those who don't know, the Chinese chipmaker Long Soon recently shared new information about their anticipated CPU, the 3A6000, a 4-core 8-thread CPU with a running clock of 2.5 GHz. This is very similar to their last 3A5000 CPU, but it includes hyper-threading. And as you can see, that makes a pretty huge difference. With that said, we can see that it still isn't able to beat Intel Intel's years-old i3-10100, but there's one thing that is really impressive. When you move the clocks for the i3 down to the same 2.5 GHz, the 3A6000 gets a huge gain over the CPU. Not only that, but even when you put the CPU up against the new 14600K while at the same clock, Long Soon CPU wins at the integer test and just loses slightly a floating point. So in terms of actual IPC, China's new CPU actually challenges Intel's new 
coolest parts. Of course, the 14600K doesn't run at 2.5 gigahertz, so it's not even close when comparing the two CPUs at their best. But I do think this is a sobering reminder to both Intel and AMD that they can't slow down anytime soon. Their competition is fierce, and if they play around, they could find themselves being passed by a very unlikely foe. And lastly for today, NVIDIA is about to release a new flagship GPU. That's right, according to a new report from WCCF Tech, their sources claim that NVIDIA is gearing up to release a brand new gaming GPU, the RTX 4090D, because it's got that big D. No, they think it stands for something like Year of the Dragon, so it's D for Dragon, but come on, I had to do that. Either way, it's being released to get around the current export restrictions on the RTX 4090. And that's not a surprise, as NVIDIA did it before when they made the H800 to get around the H100 ban, and they're already doing it again now that the H800 has been banned. So it's something I would definitely expect from them. Unfortunately, WCCF Tech doesn't know the exact specs of the card yet, but because current restrictions are based on the fact that the 4090 gets over the total processing power of 4800 points, the 4090D will obviously have to be under that threshold. So it won't be as fast, and yet it's apparently set to have the same $1599 MSRP as the regular 4090. Still, this is ultimately good news, and not just for those in China, even though it's exclusive to the Chinese market. If you've been following this channel, you know that 4090 prices have been going through the roof, and not just in China, but also in the US. And that's because the GPUs are being bought up for this ban. So Nvidia releasing a new card that gets around these restrictions will likely help alleviate the 4090's price in other countries. Not only that, but this card is strictly targeting gamers, though of course AI companies will likely still pick them up. At the end of the day, if this helps a little, I'm still happy. It's just a shame that Nvidia won't be releasing the D in other countries as well. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for NVIDIA's D? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out Micro Center down in the description below. And as always, have a great day.